When Charles Anderson was 14, it was 1954. This was the year of Brown v. Board of Education in which the Supreme Court ended legal segregation in public schools. This case was against the Board of Education in Topeka, where Charles lived. Even though segregation was no longer legal, which was monumental, segregation was still experienced by Charles as well as racism. A teacher once told him that he wouldn't last two weeks in college. This was a time, and we can still see this reflected today, that black men were only valued for their athletic abilities. Charles Anderson pursued despite all that was against him as a black man, and through art making and his spirituality, he worked to understand the effect of his experiences. He worked at the Menenger Clinic for 42 years from 1962 until 2003. He started working there when he was still working on his BFA from Washburn University. After his first year, he was drafted and served two years at Fort Wainwright in Alaska, followed by two years in the reserves. Because of his college classes, he was assigned as recreation specialist of the arts and crafts shop. He taught photography, darkroom lessons, ceramics, and jewelry making. When he was in the reserves after his discharge, he was an occupational therapist assistant to people that were badly injured in Vietnam. He also had a private contract teaching the Officer's Wives Organization painting and art history. After his service, he got his BFA at Washburn in the year 1970. Through working at the Menninger Clinic, he had a lot of direct client hours. Around 1973, art therapy became something one could be certified for, or more so, had to be certified for to practice professionally. This art therapy certification creation often required higher education. We cannot know how many people influenced the art therapy profession that didn't have the ability to get this certification due to race or socioeconomic status at the time. Charles Anderson, however, was able to be grandfathered in. He took his client hours to his supervisor at the clinic, who took them to Bob Alt, who submitted them to the registration committee for review. In 1987, he got his ATR. This was a top credential at the time, as the board certification was not a thing yet. In 1996, he got board certified. Getting board certified meant more access to resources such as trainings, theoretical literature, and he was able to develop a deeper understanding of how art therapy could affect patients. Anderson has said he always had a passion for helping people and that the Art Therapy Association made his passion expand to reach more people. Charles Anderson was the first chair of the AATA Multicultural Committee, which was called the Mosaic Committee at the time. He said the three years he served were exhausting but important work, and he said, I quote, When I first started working on multicultural issues, people, a small segment of the AATA membership, said I was dividing the AATA by spending too much time focused on the differences between us. They used to say, underneath the pigmentation of our skin, we are all the same. I would call this denial. I used to ask, well, how would you identify me? Would you identify me as male? They would say yes. As six feet tall, they would say yes. But finally they would say, I would not think of you as a black man. I would ask them, how can you identify me in all these ways yet remain so uncomfortable with my racial identity? According to the AATA website, the Multicultural Committee is part of the membership committee and quote unquote, embraces an inclusive definition of culture. Basically, it is to provide training, networking, and information to art therapists to increase diversity and develop cross-cultural inclusiveness. Along with this committee, he did cultural diversity work locally in Kansas City as a member of the Mayoral Council. Again, this work was important because he knew patients of color experienced bias. Anderson saw that patients were being diagnosed, admitted, and pathologized for things that were cultural differences and cultural expressions. It was important to him to bring this problem into people's awareness. I'm going to show you part of his 2012 art exhibition at the historic site of Brown vs. Board. This exhibition was, quote, created to overcome the stress and struggle of a life lived through the civil rights movement.
Charles Anderson is one of the pioneers of the art therapy profession. He was there at the beginning and watched the profession grow. He received the AATA Distinguished Clinical Award and the Multicultural Leadership Award. He worked for over 40 years at the Menenger Clinic with Bob Alt and Don Jones. In regards to the art therapy profession that he excelled in, he says, Everyone is having to people make art, but art therapists bring a different level of training and understand art as a medium. He really has been animate that therapists are able to discuss things with clients through media. Anderson is an artist that has broken through barriers. He helped bring to the forefront how socioeconomic status and cultural differences have an effect on someone's behaviors that a person outside that culture may pathologize. For example, it may be perceived as a symptom of a disorder that a client doesn't open up easily, but for people who grow up with low socioeconomic status, they are taught not to share what's on their mind or it'll be used against them. Though he has done so much for inclusivity and cultural awareness and diversity in the art therapy profession, he still sees work to be done in studying cultural competence. Most recently, he has discussed how differences in ideas of gender has caused lack of ethical care as well. In regards to the art profession now, he says, I hope that we can just continue what we have done, separate ourselves from those who use the art therapist title without our quality of patient care.